Hi there, I'm Teresa Dufour. While CT Style remains on hiatus, we continue to feature Connecticut businesses in your CT Style Express report. At Mary Wade, their mission is to provide high quality medical care, social programs, and supervised residential services to those in need. Here with all the details is President and CEO, David B. Hunter. Mr. Hunter, it's great to see you here. Thanks for chatting with us via Zoom. Thank you, Teresa. Thank It's great to be with you. Yeah, so first off, for our viewers who might not be familiar, tell us what Mary Wade is all about. Oh, I could go on forever. I, <laughs> you said we only have about five minutes. Well, Mary Wade is is a venerable institution. It was it started here in Fairhaven in 1866 after the Civil War. Wow. And uh, we've been at the same location and, you know, consider ourselves to be, you know, a very important cornerstone in the, uh, the neighborhood of Fairhaven. And um, so, you know, uh, the, the mission has been the same, to provide the highest quality care to people who come to us for services. And so uh, as a result of that, you know, we have expanded into, you know, various programs. We have uh, the, the original building has, uh, it's called our assisted residential care for older folks that, you know, need a little support, uh, but don't necessarily need nursing services. And then we have a skilled nursing center that has both short-term rehab uh, services as well as um, uh, Alzheimer's dementia care. And we have an adult day center uh, that is open to people during the day who need a little help living at home and uh, are able to get supportive services and, and then go back home. We have a major transportation program. We provide services to seniors in the community uh, to get to and from the doctor's offices during the weeks and on uh, weekends, social programming. And we're building, uh, we're building a, a huge uh, assisted living uh, complex across the street from us uh, on our same campus. It's, it'll be an assisted living and a memory care uh, program. And um, you know, we're really excited about opening that program next, next year. Wow, to be expanding in a time that's like this, that's, that's pretty incredible. Um, and if you would, Mr. Andrew, tell me a little bit about your staff. I know you're very proud of them. We have an unbelievable staff. You know, I, I, it, it's difficult, you know, it's a challenge at times to work in uh, the urban environment as we are. Um, but, you know, we don't, we don't settle for that. And our staff are extremely committed. Uh, they have the heart that is needed uh, to serve in a nonprofit organization such as ours. And they have the skill sets, I think, um, be, uh, that, that, make, that put us above, I think, the average uh, nursing center uh, in, in the country because uh, they're very committed. And, you know, we just recently did a survey on our culture, and we were monitoring what the culture is among people, what the, the culture is in Mary Wade today, and, and how we desire to become better. And one of the things that is interesting to me, well, the, 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 big, the big components of our culture is caring and compassion. But what is uh, amazing to me is accountability was high, one of the highest uh, characteristics of our culture. And I think that has to do with, you know, our drive to be in compliance with all aspects of state, federal, and local regulations and laws that govern us. And there are many, but, you know, and, and to be compliant with those means we're providing very high quality level care. And, you know, we, we have, you know, we have stars among us. Uh, we think they're, they're stars. Our, our infection preventionist is uh, Patty Neeson. She uh, has a Bachelor of uh, Nursing Services, and she has been incredible uh, as far as training our staff. It's, it's you know, we talk about PPE, you know, personal protective equipment and whether we have it or we don't have it. But the key is how you put it on and how you take it off. And every, every step of putting that equipment on and taking it off is, very, is vital. And she is an incredible instructor and does it, you know, around the clock with all of our shifts. And uh, she just, um, she actually is, is on um, the staff now of Project ECHO. COVID-19 panel, which is a, a worldwide organization that is um, training uh, infection control services in, in the healthcare sector. Mm -hmm. Patty will be on the panel for nurse skill nursing centers. And, you know, one of the things they'll be doing is looking at how, what worked 
as we moved into COVID and what didn't, and then how can we really develop or how can ECHO develop um, best practices for uh, this, this sector of the health. Oh, it's so important so, to have someone like that on your staff uh, during these times, right? It's, in, it's incredible because it's, you know, we, we are dealing with COVID now, but, you know, we've dealt with the flu for years and other infectious diseases uh, that, you know, either come to us from the hospital or come to us from the community. So infection control is a very important uh, part of, of the delivery of care. Absolutely. And then, then we have a, a nurse that's with us. Her name is Mallory Rivera. And she came to us as a certified nurse's aide in, in 2004. And through our scholarship program, she became an LPN, licensed practical nurse, and has been on staff. And we've promoted her to become a, a medical data um, uh, recorder. And that's, that's an important um, position in long-term care because she reports to the federal government. Uh, for all of our patients, and um, and uh, she is now entered into uh, school to become a registered nurse under our scholarship program, and she just this year won the um, Nightingale Award, the 2020 oh, Nightingale Award. Unfortunately, we couldn't have a because of COVID, we couldn't have a a, a dinner, an, an award dinner where she would receive it. But I I presented it to her uh, in front of our staff uh, last week. So That's great. I'm glad she's getting the recognition she deserved. And of course, if you want to learn more about uh, Mary Wade, you could log on to the website, marywade.org. And I know you guys didn't have your fabulous wine dinner fundraiser this year, but we will look forward to it next year. Hopefully it'll go on as planned. Best fundraiser in New Haven, if you ask me. Thank you, <laughs> Teresa. We think it's the best too. All right. Thank you so much for chatting with us, Mr. Hunter. Thank you, Teresa.